think what I held, I knew how to present the case. So having a banking background, I, I was used to myself going and speaking to credit partners to get deals approved. So I, I would know what they would expect to see. I suppose what it was just understanding the overall appetite, though, I think was a challenge. You know, there was deals I was looking at, which actually also I thought were pretty decent, but lenders weren't willing to do them because of, of certain things. And it's maybe the loan to value was a little too high or the, the business wasn't quite profitable enough. And maybe in the past, I've maybe seen those deals getting done but the don't get me wrong the, the world the economy everything's moved on a lot and what i'd certainly say is all the lenders have become in general a lot stricter uh, there are more um hurdles to jump over to get your deals approved there are more qualification criteria which makes it really really challenging for a client going direct to to a lender uh, and they quite easily get a no uh, first time round and lose the will to live um, thereafter and not know where to turn. So that's where you know a broker certainly earns his uh, crust and comes into the fore with these types of clients because we've got access to whole the market. But yeah, it's challenging. It's not easy getting deals across the line. Some things are easier than others. You know, things like asset finance, all things being equal are a little bit more straightforward than, you know, one of the most challenging things at the moment is a commercial mortgage, just straightforward yeah. commercial mortgage, because the, the, the appetite for banks and, and lenders to lend against commercial property at the moment is very, very thin. So therefore, um, even the best of cases, you're looking at pretty low loan to values and, and high debt servicing coverage to get them approved. So it's challenging, challenging stuff out there.